It's a staple in the city, you know, not just this area, but it's a staple in the city. 2023 will mark 125 years since Flanner House began serving the northwest side. And the organization focuses on everything from workforce development to early childhood education and programming for senior citizens. WRTV's Nicole Griffin shows us how that will expand next year to include mental health resources for the community. New arrivals section. Terrell Tolls is an employee at Ujama Community Bookstore. So I get to meet a lot of different people and I also get to be the glue. You know, I get to connect people and, and people get to meet people and also help boost their business and, you know, boost their growth. In the location of a former public library, the bookstore opened at Flanner House last year on Juneteenth. Take a look around in here, you'll see more than enough vendors, uh, black vendors, locally owned businesses in here. The store also has computer access, free school supplies, and a place for the community to gather. It's one of many resources Flanner House provides for the community. Our work from its very inception has always been focused on meeting the unmet needs of the community. Flanner House CEO Brandon Cosby says one of those needs is mental health care. Historically, he says in the black community, seeking out that type of care has been discouraged. When people finally would begin to seek those those services out, um, quite frequently they would then run into barriers and obstacles because the people with whom they were speaking um, didn't have the cultural awareness of, of what it meant to be black in the inner city. But that will soon change. In early 2023, Flanner House will open Morningstar Mental Health Center. There will be five full-time counselors and a part-time psychiatrist and psychologist to help those in need. For folks to be able to walk in and not have to explain context of challenges or problems or or just issues that they're having and working through but can just authentically be themselves in day one know that they're walking in uh, with that level of understanding is going to make a world of difference to be able to uh, see somebody that looks like you that they, they can tell you that they understand or tell you that they you know that they here for you uh, I, I think that's a very powerful thing because um, sometimes people grow up with mad trust issues or anything like that. Flanner House is receiving support to open the center thanks to a $200,000 grant from Bank of America's Neighborhood Builders Program. You know, clearly the, the financial contributions that we make uh, make a difference, but the not-for-profits are the ones that are really front lines doing the work every day. And, um, you know, we, we partner very closely with our not-for-profit leaders, our civic leaders, uh, to, to help really understand where the community needs um, re uh, reside. Tolls hopes the center will help end the stigma around receiving mental health care and create more awareness. When it comes to the awareness, is I feel like it's one of the main keys is like knowing like, oh, people actually go through this. You know, people actually are dealing with this. People, there's more than just me or there's more than just somebody that I know. Working for you, Nicole Griffin, WRTV.